Today, I'll be showing you how to get all the Chaos Emeralds in the Minecraft Sonic mashup pack. As you can see, you unlock Super Sonic by getting all seven of the Chaos Emeralds across three stages and one bonus mode at the very end. Starting with Green Hill Zone, we're gonna go in order that you see on the screens above with the blue emerald that you see in this wall, and it's actually located near one of the waterfalls that you see. A lot of these sections are fairly repetitive throughout each of the stages, so not every section that you see with the waterfall in that little nook is gonna have the blue Chaos Emerald in it, it's kind of randomly generated as you're going through the various acts in the games. So make sure you keep that in mind. Just because you see it in my section in a certain act doesn't mean it's going to appear there all the time. This applies across all of the Chaos Emeralds except for the final one, which is unlocked in the very elusive Eggman mode. For every Chaos Emerald, you're navigating a falling maze that you see, and you go about the level just as you normally would. The next Chaos Emerald is a green one, which is taken from my playthrough that I did of the entire pack, so if you want to subscribe and check that out, you certainly can. Bust open the wall with any of the characters, and you'll magically be transported into the green Chaos Emerald area. And now using the third person point of view, you get a little bit of a perspective on where you're dropping from. And I recommend you go into third person mode by pressing F5 if you're on uh, a mouse and keyboard. That way you get a little bit more perspective on where your character model is floating because sometimes it can be a little complicated as you're floating down. And if you hit one of those markers, one of those bomb things, you actually restart the entirety of the section and you don't get another opportunity to do this again. Although if you hit the ground, you get a chance to try it again. The next Chaos Emerald brings us into the Chemical Plant Zone. This one is activated via a secondary ledge that you'll see as you're playing through Chemical Plant Zone. Once you're playing through the levels yourself, you'll figure out where this area is, just like with all the other Chaos Emeralds. Just like with the rest of them as well, you can float all the way down and claim your Emerald at the very end of it. This is one of the easier ones, and as you're going through each of the emeralds, they're going to get progressively more difficult. So they kind of work up the difficulty in that way, so I recommend going in order as much as possible when you're getting the emeralds, so that way you can, you know, work yourself up to it and get the final one in Eggman mode with ease. There's a purple one there. The second one obviously is in Chemical Plant Zone. This one, uh, you kind of go uh, a little bit submerged with uh, a character of your choice. For this one, I'm using Tails, but you're gonna press this button that's located in these under poison sections, maneuver your way into there and slide in to find the red Chaos Emerald. And I suppose if you really wanted to go into creative mode and just bust your way through, you could go to the other towers that you see along the side there. Perhaps there's another way to get the emeralds a bit easier. But this is actually one of the easiest ones uh, so far because it actually spells out Sonic with an exclamation mark as you're falling through to the very bottom of the pit. So unless you're really not brushed up on your Sonic Minecrafting skills, you should be able to get through the red one with ease. Moving into the Sky Sanctuary, this is where it gets a little bit difficult, at least for me. Now, one of them is located on the pit down here very easily you can run right by it and not pay attention to where you're going but for this one it gets really difficult so make sure that you stay in the center as much as you possibly can trying to get to the very bottom to where the chaos emerald is this one and the gold one are exceptionally difficult so make sure you take your time with it and as long as you don't go uh, hitting one of those bombs you'll be fine if you haven't used your dash, you can technically use that in the midair as well as a jump. So keep that in mind as well. Get yourself that and you're off. I jumped off a ledge because I could. The other one you notice is inside one of the temple areas. And I know I flashed through it very quickly right there. But as you're going through the game, you sometimes go indoors as you're progressing through a level. This is one of those circumstances. So in order to find the last of the standard Chaos Emeralds, you're going to be looking for a few palm trees in the center of the indoor section. Like you see here, the big ring will be floating right up. Take that vessel, launch yourself up, no problem. You need to get 10,000 points across all levels in order to unlock Eggman mode, and then you can progress through to defeating the Eggman. 
and once you get to the very end of that you can get your final chaos emerald as you initially intended and a little sneak peek here for uh, an easy way to get a victory you can actually touch the character on the very ledge of the gray areas and recover yourself for an extra dash or if you're using amy a secondary jump as you're going through the levels once you get all of the Chaos Emeralds and bring them to the center console, you'll be able to unlock Super Sonic. Super Sonic gives you invincibility across all the levels, will not save you from a water death, but will be invincible to all spikes and enemies. You get a little bit of a gameplay demo and an overview here. Thank you very much for watching. If you found this tutorial helpful, please absolutely decimate that like button. Check out my other Minecraft playthrough videos if they suit your fancy. And until next time, have an amazing day and keep on meowing it out, all right? Bye.